black Nazarene is finally home. After almost 20 hours of being paraded across Manila, the famous statue of Jesus Christ reached Quiapo Church. Now, this is one of the longest processions in recent years, with millions of Filipinos participating in the festivities. Plaza Miranda was filled with yellow and scarlet as devotees faithfully waited for the 16th century mulatto image of Christ overnight. Songs of praise and shouts of joy echoed in Quiapo when the image finally entered the church. But this year also has its share of injuries. Manila officials say one person died during the procession and more than 600 people suffered minor injuries. Despite the dangers of taking part in the procession, the feast yearly draws devotees from different sectors of Philippine society, including lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender groups. One LGBT devotee tells us how his devotion to the icon strengthens his faith. Every year na ginagawa ng mga friends namin, pupunta tala kami ano, every na may feast ng Nazareth. Like, isa sa mga nagpapakatatag sa lahat ng mga problema. Hindi kayo pagsubok sa buhay. Pagdating sa joke, pagdating sa acts o sa rights, sa Diyos naman siguro pantay-pantay. Disregard kung ano ka, babae o lalaki. With the Feast of the Black Nazarene finally over, local authorities and Catholic faithfuls now look forward to Pope Francis' arrival on January 15. The festivities here, after all, is a dry run for the Argentinian pontiff's visit. The success of the Feast of the Black Nazarene proved Filipino Catholics' devotion to the religion. Local priests say we can expect more people to come when Pope Francis arrives in the Philippines. David Lozada, Rappler, Manila.